hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters welcome to my new series my new one uh, the one where I take a look at what I purchased in a previous month and basically monitor my spending for a year um, I'm not on a low buy I am trying to do controlled purchasing my last video in this video will not be a testament to that um, but let's just continue so I need to do some updates from my last video um, one I actually forgot to talk about a product that I purchased um, it was a Morphe palette so we purchased the um, the James Charles hang on I'm gonna close my door because it's squeaking so we purchased the James Charles palette um, to destroy on the makeup breakup um, and often when we make online purchases for beauty news or work related things um, we try and reach a shipping cap uh, and we take the opportunity to order anything that we might like and I picked up this guy it's the 39A so it's actually the palette that James Charles sort of um, expanded on and made better um, but this one had stood out to me for quite some time um, and when I was on the website I was just like fuck it let's get it um, and I haven't even used it <laughs> surprise surprise um, so yeah that was something else that I purchased in January and totally forgot about I actually spent half an hour looking for this thing in my bedroom um, my bedroom is a disgrace at the moment it's a disgrace of work-related madness some other things um, <laughs> some people brought to my attention something that I was completely unaware of uh, the Mecca free shipping cap was actually it used to be $75 I think it was and they lowered it to $35 so now you can get free shipping with $35 a $35 or more purchase and you get free express shipping with $75 or more purchase that explains why my package arrived the following morning after making the order in the afternoon the previous day I was extremely shook I was like well done Mecca um, but yeah the express shipping is it's express so um, buying the the Stila um, glitter and glow to get like to hit the free shop, shipping shopping god here we go it's hot and I'm tired and it's been a long day and I've been breathing in paint fumes because I'm trying to pat oh god don't even get me started I'm losing the plot uh, anyway buying the Stiller glitter and glow set to get the free shipping I didn't have to do that um, a lot of people were talking about the Mac pens that were a snafu purchase um, and they were saying those pens are amazing you're gonna love them try them like give them a good go I did I like them they are good I do really enjoy them uh, I tried using the powder end with the applicator included <laughs> I do not like that uh, but the actual like liquid end the pen end I love that and I can use the powder by dipping a little angled brush in there and using that so that's cool I will say about them um, the the formula is um, obviously it's like a liquid uh, but it's a very uh, transparent liquid so it's not really opaque um, it does give a nice like natural looking like individual hair which I really like um, so yeah I, I like them and look I still wouldn't have purchased them um, if I'd known what I was buying I would have preferred to have the uh, the micro pencils but look I'll use them I'll use the liquid end at the very least so there we go um, I also had some people asking me to include like how much I spent on the makeup um, and that was never really my intention to do I did kind of think about it but I had quite a few people asking so 
I guess, yeah, if that's what you want to see, <laughs> let's do it. Um, so last month, ugh, I actually, like, the reason I didn't want to include the monetary value is because it uh, it's a lot. And um, I know a lot of people on the internet, like, they will shame you for stuff like this. Um, so there's that. But... Uh, last month I spent over $1,100 on makeup, so $1,132 approximately. There were some items that I had to do approximate um, estimates on because I didn't have the receipt for them. Um, there, yeah, so there we go. Uh, and this month I've done a lot better, a lot better, um, $420 and some cents. So that's, you know... That's pretty good. Um, I've still got a lot of shit to show you, but look, at least it wasn't a thousand dollars. Let's start with a few things. So I'm going to talk about ColourPop and Suva Beauty because these came about in sort of a similar way that, you know, they came into my life. ColourPop did a mystery bag um, and we wanted to purchase that mystery bag for Beauty News. We also wanted to reach the free shipping cap so Kat and I threw in a few things for ourselves. Um, I chose two Jelly Much eyeshadows. I picked up Morning Light and Hallucinogenius. Is that right? Hallucinogenius, yep. Um, so these are, what did I pay for these? I think they were $8 each. Let me, let me double check. Yeah, these are $8 each. Um, and I've only used these once on the eye. I'm just going to swatch one for you and show you. This is Hallucinogenius. They're, they're beautiful shades. Um, I feel like... Uh, I feel like they go on a bit patchy. Um, I've only used them once, so I want to play with them more to get a real feel for it. Um, but, yeah, I'm not... Like, they're pretty, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like, oh my god, I've got to buy more of these after trying them. I'm happy to have these to play with them, see what different things I can do with them. Um, yeah, they're, they're kind of cool. Um, there was also the Suva Beauty um, Lucky Bag. Uh, we purchased that to open it up on Beauty News and um, also picked up some of their Hydra Liners because love these. They're great. Picked up Cherry Bomb and Aztec. So that is like... A beautiful like fire truck red um, and this one is a gorgeous dark grape color they're really great I really enjoy them these are $14 each I believe yes $14 each now I did end up with some other things from Suva Beauty now with the lucky bag Kat and I split the contents uh, we did the same thing with the ColourPop um, lucky bag now I was sort of tossing up what to do with the ColourPop stuff because I haven't actually included it in my monthly spend um, or in my like monitoring my monthly spend but the Suva stuff from the box I have and the reason I decided to do that was because I wouldn't have purchased a ColourPop lucky bag if it wasn't for work related purchases like beauty news related purchases however the Suva beauty one I would have um, I love Suva beauty and I like I was ready to add more items to my collection so it was always in my mind that whether we did that video for Beauty News or not I would buy a bag um, we did do it for Beauty News so Kat and I split the bag the Colourpop one I never wanted to buy so I'm not including the Colourpop things that I bought home from that bag um, I'm considering that a work related thing and it's it's not relevant to what I would purchase based off like what I want to buy. Um, but the Suva things, I would have bought that bag for sure. So I'm pricing all of these items at $4.54 each um, because that's what it worked out to on average with the cost of the box um, and the items that were in there. Um, so 
where do I start? Uh, Super Beauty Hydro Liner. This is in the shade Luster Lilac. So this is one of their like metallic finishes. It's a beautiful soft lavender shade. Not a color that I would have picked up myself, but really pretty and unique. I don't have anything like this. I've got a like a lavender shade from a, a NYX cream liner. It's not a metallic and I don't like the formula. Um, so I don't use it. Uh, then there's a protege palette. Uh, I was keen on this. I like, I kind of want to add all of the Suva palettes to my collection. And I think at this point I actually have them all, which is exciting. Um, so there it is cool, warm, and then two highlight shades, both in a cool and a warm finish. I haven't used this yet. The other item that I took home out of the Suva um, lucky bag was the 350 eyeshadow brush. So that is a tiny little detailer. This is interesting. This is the firmest little detailer brush that I've ever played with. Um, it's dense. It is dense and the bristles are firm. It's really interesting. I've been using it mostly for inner corner work and lower lash line work. And what I really found it's good for is if you've got like a a cream pencil that you want to put along your lower lash line if it's a thicker formula that like dries quickly and you've got to try and blend it out the stiffness of this brush is really good for like buffing the edges and sort of blending them so they diffuse a little bit it doesn't look like such a harsh line so that's an interesting brush um I don't mind using it to apply in a corner um, highlighter as well. That's not too bad. It would also be good for like lip line work. I want to test that out, but because I've been using it for one thing, I want to wash it properly before I use it for another. Um, so yeah, there we go. Little silver brush added to my stash. All right, there were two things or three things. Let's say three things, that's fair, that I was like I was ready to fight the universe to the death to get these items um didn't have to fight it to the death universe come to the party on that one helped me out a bit uh one was da 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 da, da. this is the hourglass confession ultra slim high intensity uh lipstick set for valentine's day 2019 the shades in here are all of you loves all of me. Um, I believe I'm wearing loves all of you right now. Uh, let's get them out and show you the packaging. Oh my God, the packaging guys, the packaging. Love heart, put these two together. They make a love heart. It is red in the, like the box. It's... Stop being so cute, please. Um, I bought these off Space NK. Um, they do ship hourglass to Australia, thank God, because I was having a little bit of a freak out that I wouldn't be able to get these. Um, and I was like, I was ready to call upon my peeps in the States and be like, help me out. But everything come together in the end. So that was good. Um, okay. So, uh, oh, that's right. Inside. So this one is all of me. This is sort of like a more pinky tone with some coral shades. It's, it's unique to anything that I have from Hourglass, um, which is pretty cool. And then there is Loves All of You. And this is a red tone with orange undertones. Um, so I, I quite like that they didn't just put in like a, a pink and a red. It's a pink and a red with like orange love. And I really like that because it makes them a bit more unique. Um, so I got them guys. I got them. So good. And I even had a, look, these were working out so expensive. I was looking at, um, the conversion of these uh from us to australian dollars and it was like 99 dollars and 75 australian cents or something like that basically 100 bucks and then i'm like then we're gonna have to pay for shipping to get them here which is not going to be cheap even though they are light little items it's still going to be expensive um and on space nk they were what did i pay for them hang on so 
I ended up paying $98.17 Australian, um, but they, I had a £10 off coupon, so I got them £10 cheaper than whatever the pounds price was, I can't remember, and it worked out to $98. So it actually worked out cheaper than buying them in the US and it, like without shipping. So I'm, I'm so glad I got that. So, so glad. Um, the next item that I was like, I'm getting these, I'm getting it, I'm gonna, I will do whatever it takes. Um, and I got them, but it was very bittersweet. Um, the MAC, what's it called? Boom Boom Bloom collection. Um, I wanted the Sakura or Cherry Blossom Fix Plus, and I wanted the Highlight Powder in Fleur Real. And I got them. Um, I might actually use this guy now. Uh, I have used, have used this guy. This is lovely. If you are wondering if this is nice, yes it is. Um, if you like Fix Plus and you like a Sakura scent, you will like this one. It's a bit, it's a bit violent, especially since I've been so used to uh, micro mists recently. But the scent is beautiful. I really like it. Uh, in the past, I have tried, you know how MAC uh, brought out like the scented Fix Plus? Um, one of them I sprayed on my face. I think it was the coconut one. No, I didn't spray it on my face. I sprayed it on the back of my hand or on my arm um, in, uh, I think it was a David Jones one day and we're walking around looking at stuff and I, like, I had a rash. I had an itchy red rash. Um, so I've been a little bit like hesitant about the scented Fix Plus, but I think it was just that particular one that gave me troubles because this one doesn't, um, it doesn't make me itchy, which is great. Um, it does make me shiny though. Oh well. Um, okay, then Fleur Real. I'm sure many of you know what's going on right now. I haven't even used mine. I I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I'm so disappointed in this product. I'm so disappointed in MAC. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we took to this in the makeup breakup with a brush and a finger and it's this this beautiful thing here which like look at it it's beautiful uh it's an overspray and underneath it's just a matte pink powder it's not nice um that is the biggest disappointment i if i had known if, if, if somehow I had seen that this was just a chalky, like, pale baby pink powder, I would have gone, no. Um, but I didn't. I bought this on release day. It actually released in the UK before anywhere else. It went up on Selfridges. I purchased it. Kat purchased it. One of our beautiful moderators, Gaynor, purchased it along with other things. And I actually felt, I felt horrendously guilty that Gaynor had purchased this piece of crap. Um, as pretty as it is, I can't see how anyone would use it. It's just, I, I don't, I don't, oh, I'm so disappointed. Um, I, I did consider returning this, uh, to Selfridges, but, ugh, one, I can't be bothered, two, it's just going to end up in, like, landfill. They don't, they don't take return products and put them back on the shelf. Uh, they take this and put it in landfill, so... What's the point? What's what's the point? I get my money back, but I'm adding to landfill. So I'm, apparently people were saying that this is meant to be a collector's item, like, you know, for people who just buy pretty makeup and don't use it. It's pretty much how it's gonna go in my collection, but every single time I look at it, I'm gonna be reminded of that little bit of respect that I lost for Mac on the day that they released this and sold it for fucking, 46 Australian dollars, which is what I paid for it. 
In Australia, it retails for more. Disappointed. Something else that I purchased. Wasn't intending to purchase this, but it came about. Uh, the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. So Juvia's Place had a, uh, a sale. I think it was 30% off. Um, and Kat was like, I'm going to make an order. Would you like anything? And I thought, yes, I would definitely like to try the Juvia's Place. Um, I wanted a mini palette and I wanted something a bit colourful. Um, so I went with this one. There it is. Um, I'm excited to try this. Spoiler alert, have not tried it yet. So there it is. Uh, I think this set me back about 17 US dollars, maybe? I think. Something like that. So there it is. The next thing I purchased were actually two Ella Cosmetics beauty sponges. Um, so they had a sale on, it was 30% off. My birds are, my birds are getting ready for bed, so they've got to go off a bit. Ella had 30% off, like I said, um, and these are my favorite sponges, so we purchased some, um, and they, they delivered the package, um, or the package was delivered, and inside we actually found more sponges, um, and a note saying, next time you want sponges, just let us know, and it's funny, because, um, it's very sweet of them, obviously, um, but I, like, I wouldn't, I would never ask for product. Um, but, like, I, I also like to support the brands that I love. Um, and I think Ella Cosmetics are doing amazing things. I've seen so many Beauty News viewers, um, like, tagging us in these and mentioning us and, like, in photos on Instagram. Um, and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. They're great. They're beautiful sponges. So, um, not a necessary purchase because I am stocked up on Ella Cosmetics sponges. They've done a great job um, in like keeping me in sponges. But um, yeah, I'm totally happy to have the extras. Uh, and lastly, my last purchases were actually made uh, quite recently. <laughs> trip to Sephora. Um, we had to go to Sephora to purchase the Kat Von D liners, the mini and the large size for the uh, video that we put up on Beauty News. And while we were there, we were there with Hannah, little Miss Artsy. Uh, she was down from Sydney to see the Harry Potter stage show. Um, and we were walking around touching things and it resulted in buying. All of which, I'm going to say this, all of which I think were my fault. I totally, I was like, I'm going to buy this and Kat's like, well, if you're getting one, get me one too. So yeah, this is, this is what happened. The first thing was the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I saw that they had a fully stocked, um, display and I started swatching and I found this one. It's Blend 3.55, which was like a, I don't know, it's a middle of the road shade with an olive undertone. And I have olive undertones and they've really come out strong um, this summer. So I, I couldn't resist because this was literally like a perfect match for me. So I got it. Um, made it easy finding a shade when it mentioned like the you know, they tell you like what the undertones are and, um, you know, whether it's warm or neutral or cool or whatever. And it just made it really easy finding a shade. And after, I think I swatched about four different foundations, found this one and put it like, I actually test sort of down here on my neck, uh, to make sure things match me now. Cause my face is definitely not this color underneath all this makeup. Um, and I was like, it's, it's too perfect. I'm, I, I'm going to buy it. So I bought it. Uh, then spotted Marc Jacobs and picked up two things. Um, one of these, this is a fine liner. It's an ultra skinny gel eye crayon in the shade Cinderella. Um, and this is a gray, a gray liner. Um, I think what got me about this was the formula. It seems interesting um so these just go on it's almost like it's a solid that then dissolves into a gel and then sets 
Uh, so yeah, I have to I have to try it. Um, but I've just discovered they're not retractable. So don't put up more than you need, Haley. Um, but yeah, it's a dark grey. I actually don't have any dark grey eyeliner, so I went with that. I was eyeing off, there's a burgundy one that I was like, oh, I want that. Um, and look, I'll probably go back and get it at some stage uh, if this wears well. In my experience, Marc, Jacob, I, Marc Jacobs eyeliners uh, work just beautifully. They're richly pigmented and they stay put. So I think I'll be adding more of them to my collection this year and I'm not going to feel guilty about that. And the last item was this guy, Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer in Guilty. Um, so this was holiday. 2018 I think and like oh god send help I don't need okay send help because I can't open this all right so send help because god knows I don't need any more highlighters in my life um but I was looking at this and swatching it I'm like oh my god it's so beautiful that's that's kind of okay. that's cute that's cute it's a nice touch um yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't need any more, but I was swatching it and mm, I was so tempted. Stop being so beautiful. I'm offended by your beauty. Um, so I was like, is this permanent? And Kat and Hannah are like, no, it's limited. And I'm like, well, okay, then I suppose I'm buying a Marc Jacobs highlighter that is, oh God, how much is in here? 10 grams what the fuck am i gonna do with 10 grams of highlighter i'm gonna keep it until the day i die i i will have to be buried with it because no one else is gonna want it oh what am i doing anyway that's gorgeous and i purchased it so there we go hopefully it is not too dark for my skin um so that's pretty much it uh with like my purchases this month. Um, looking back to how I felt when I came into February, I was, the only thing that I knew I really, really wanted was the Hourglass um, Duo, which I got. Um, I knew I wanted the Mac things, but I didn't realize it was going to launch in Feb. Um, I was just sort of like not really thinking about it and then when it came up it was gonna launch I'm like right I'm gonna buy them um, you know I didn't go in thinking that I was gonna buy like the Ella sponges or the Beauty Blender uh, foundation or Juvia's Place uh, Marc Jacobs um, Colourpop Suva um, when did those boxes come out? I think it was early. All right, so the Suva boxes launched on, I think the 31st of January in the States. Um, but it wasn't like, I don't know. When I was filming my last sort of recap, it wasn't like, I'm gonna buy that. That was just something that sort of popped up as, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Um, so definitely, it's interesting to me how I can have an outlook of, right, I'm not going to buy anything, I know what I want, I'm going to be controlled, but then you just get like sucked into buying the stuff, the pretty things that you're like, I need to buy that. Um, so I think that's interesting, um, probably need a little bit more self-control, but I will say I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what I purchased. Um, I am a bit frustrated that I find it difficult to use the things in a timely manner and I'm hoping um, throughout March that once I sort of get a bit better situated in a separate workspace that um, it'll be easier for me to sort of see what I have and use what I have. At this point it's very difficult for me, I find it quite overwhelming and I just keep kind of reaching for the same stuff over and over. I default straight to my project pan stuff because I'm just like, it's, it's stressful. I can't find anything in my room at the moment. So 
We'll see how it goes. I can't really predict uh, what will be purchased in March. There's nothing that's really coming to mind that I um, desperately want to purchase. Um, I, I know I will have something to show you guys. I purchased some Cleona uh, single eyeshadows, so they will be coming in March. I did purchase them in February, um, but unless I have it here to show you, I'm not including it in that month. So I'll include that in next month. Um, so they will definitely be featured, um, but I, I can't really think of anything that I've got my eye on. That's certainly not to say that something won't catch my eye. Um, I do know that Urban Decay is releasing a Game of Thrones collection in April. Um, there's a good chance I'm going to want to buy something from that, but that is April's problem. Um, that's pretty much all that I'm like, you know, forward thinking about at the moment when it comes to makeup purchases. So that's it. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. Definitely feel free to discuss down in the comments, you know, feels about the spending and, you know, I think this month for me, I come into it um, quite confident that I would make minimal purchases and then left it with a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting to buy. So let me know if you experience that you know, often or every now and then. It's I don't know. It's it's interesting to see how you can you can have this like one particular outlook and then things just change and you know you get carried away. I do anyway. Um. Anyway, leave your comments. I'm going to go and actually take off this makeup and finish painting in the garage because it's getting late and I would like to have dinner soon. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.